Hey you guys, so I'm asked all the time um, about my book and I know a lot of you know that I wrote a book and it's sitting, um, it's not the time, I don't know, uh, you know, when, it, when it's time to come out, you know, it'll come out, um, but I haven't put it out, but a lot of people ask me about the stories from the book and so I do have um, a story that I feel like probably needs to be said, um, probably help somebody today um, because I had a conversation with a girl via DM and um, the story pertains to it. So most of you guys know um, I got married and I had my first child at 15. Um, the guy that I married was extremely abusive. I was hospitalized many times. Um, you know, I got pregnant at 15. You know, he beat me up. I lost my first baby um, in a physical altercation with him. It was just, you know, hospital visit after hospital visit. But at the time, um, I just didn't see a way out of that relationship. Um, it wasn't until later that he actually just left me. Um, and I was... 17 it you know went on for like two years and now I'm sitting here I have a, a baby who's about two years old I'm living with my parents who are drug addicts and drug dealers um, we didn't have food water stuff like that and at 17 there's not many options for jobs um, but I now have to support my baby I'm tired of uh, being on food stamps I am tired of you know my parents they have their house on section 8 there's just no, like I'm living in this environment where there's no, nobody wants to do anything, nobody wants to be better, and uh, because I didn't finish the ninth grade, I don't have the right education to go out and get a job, but I knew that I wanted better for my baby and I had to do something. And so I went through um, the newspaper looking for people that were hiring, and uh, again, I'm 17, you know, I just have very low self-esteem, very low self-worth, and I just know where I come from. You know, my parents are hustlers. Um, so I found there was a tire company. It was about 30 minutes from me. Um, and they were looking for an accountant. And so at the time, I was like, you know, I was living in Corpus Christi. There's not that many jobs available. And I was like, you know what? You know, I even though I don't have an education, I'm not stupid. I'm still, I'm, I'm very smart. I just, because of circumstance, I just didn't finish school. But I'm, I'm a very smart girl. Um, so I went... You know, and you're like, you know, I showed up to this uh, place, um, I filled out the application, and then, um, you know, you fill out the application, and you walk in, and you talk to the owner. So the owner was a, a man, um, and the company just happened to be family-owned, and he had a bunch of daughters. And so now I'm 17, and I'm sitting in there. It's one of my very first job interviews, and he says, um, I see on here that, you know, you... I didn't complete school and you have no job experience whatsoever. He's like, you know that, that you walked into a job for an accountant and we are a fast paced company. And I said, yes. And he was kind of like, well, you know, I, you know, he's kind of like, I don't think that this is the job for you. And I said, listen, I said, I am extremely motivated. I, uh, you could teach me anything and I'll learn it the first time. I only need you to show me one time. And he was like, mm, no, I don't think so. I said, listen, I'm 17, I have a two-year-old baby, I just need to make a living. I will come in 15 minutes early and I will leave 15 minutes late. Just give me a chance, like just train me, like just give me a week. And he was like, mm, you know, this is accounting, this is my company, if that comes out wrong. And I said, listen, I was like, you can train me and I have no experience and I'll learn or you can hire somebody who's been doing it for years who's going to come in with all of their bad habits and you have to get them out of your bad habits in order to, you know, get them to do it the way you want it. I said, or you can teach me. And by teaching me, I only know what you're teaching me. And I only know it the way you're teaching me. And I promise you, if I don't get it in a week, I'll leave. Like, just give me a week. Like, just give me a chance. Like, I need this for me. I need this for my son. Like, I don't want to be out there doing other things. You know, I just, I just need a chance. Just give me a chance to do this. And he gave me a job. And there's a lot of you who um, don't see the light at the end of that tunnel. And you don't need to be smart. You know, you don't need to be like have this college education. You just have to want, like, just go out there and want to do better and find your why because my why was my son. I, I didn't care what was going to happen. I was not walking out of that office without that job because I wasn't going to be my parents 
and I wasn't going to be like them and I wasn't going to let my son see that, you know, and sometimes it goes beyond where you think. I have a lot of girls and they don't have that vision for themselves. Sometimes you do have to have a no matter what attitude, you have to talk your way through it and you just have to want it like from the heart, want it and it'll come to you. And somebody said something really powerful to me two weeks ago that really kind of changed my life as if it could change again because it's just ever changing. But he said to me, um, you know, I just kind of felt like I was stuck and he said, you're holding on to something. And when you let that go, he said, and I don't know what that something is, but when you let that thing go, everything will come in for you. And I swear to you guys, this week, I've let it go. Like, I've just let that thing go. Um, and it's been such a great week for me, and it's been amazing. And um, I just want you guys to know that it doesn't matter where you come from or what you do. You just have the want. Like, you just have the want to do better, and you will. Like, it will just come to you. Stop being in the mentality of, I can't do it. It's hopeless. Um, just that negativity, because I feel it a lot of the times when I talk to you guys. Like, it's just, I feel that negative. Get out of that mindset. Just whatever your thing is, just let it go and just want to do better and just get into that no matter what mentality, I'm going to make things happen. And I'm not just talking about with weight loss. I'm talking about like life, like in life, just go, if there's something that you want, go after it and make it happen. I had an accounting job at 17, not because I was super educated or had education. It was because it was a no matter what situation. It was a no matter what attitude. And if I can do it, then you guys can do it. And you guys will feel better for it. So um, I hope you guys have a happy Saturday. And um, I hope somebody took something from that.